Hello everybody, let us today take up another very very versatile technology which is used for manufacture of variety of food materials and that is extrusion technology. This chapter also we will take up in two parts. In the part 1, we will discuss the basics engineering and technological principles of food extrusion and also about the different types of extruders. In the second part of lecture, we will study the effect of extrusion on food characteristics, food components, what are the foods are suitable for extrusion and the product characteristics and so on. You know that uh, food extrusion is a versatile high temperature short time process which has become established for continuous manufacture of new and traditional products. In extrusion, the food material is heated either by external heat source or by heat produced through dyes to expand and extrude in desired shape. So, overall we can say that extruder is used to produce extrudates of different shapes by forcing a specially designed opening after a previous heating of the material has been performed. Extruder and this technology has a lot of advantages. I told you it is a very, very versatile technology variety of products can be produced easily by changing the ingredients as well as process conditions. It has comparatively lower processing cost and higher productivity than other cooking and farming processes. Extruder can operate continuously with high throughput. Extrusion cooking involves high temperature applied for a short time retaining many heat sensitive components of the foods. As a low moisture process, extrusion cooking does not produce significant process effluents and therefore, reducing the water treatment cost as well as the level of environment pollution. So, there are basically no effluent treatment as well as so no environment pollution involved with this technology. The extruder machine that is the extruder is basically a pump that transports, mixes, sears, stretches and saves material under elevated pressure and temperature. In fact, this is one unit basic machine where in the single machine more than one several unit operations take place simultaneously and together. And this is extruder can be considered a screw reactor for physical, chemical and biochemical transformations of the materials. In this figure, we have shown you a general view of an extruder system. In fact, a extruder system consists of the variable screw feed, feed with the holding bin. Here you can see that is a, a variable feed and this is the holding bin that is with the help of this the material is put and is stored in the bin and then it is passed through the, from the holding bin to the preconditioner. The preconditioner you can see it here that is the preconditioner and from the preconditioner the material is further moved to extrusion barrel assembly and where inside the extruder barrel 
the appropriate conditions of the product of the process and system parameters are maintained to get the desired characteristics in the end product. And finally, there is the material is forced through that is the you see the die head assembly here there is a specially designed die is provided towards the end of the barrel assembly through which the material is forced and you get the desired products of desired characteristics. The there are different types of extruder like single extruder, twin screw extruder. Single extruders contains one smooth deep flighted Archimedes screw with within a grooved barrel which you can see here in this figure that is the only one screw is there and it is contained in a grooved barrel. Whereas, in the twin screw extruders there are two screws that is the two screws are provided inside a barrel twin screw extruder consume less energy and so higher rate of production and it is the twin screw extruder which is used by most of the industries for uh, preparation of various product because it is better more versatile it is save energy and the product characteristics etcetera can be and uh, the one biggest advantage of the twin screw extruder is that it is actually self cleaning that is extruder self cleaning mechanical um, devices are mostly provided in most type of twin screw extruder. The twin screw extruder may be of a co rotating type or counter rotating type. You can see that the two screws which are provided they can rotate in the same direction which you are seeing here in this case then both the screws are rotating in the same direction whereas in the counter rotating uh, twin screw extruder the screw move in the opposite direction ok that is this screw is moving toward this side and this screw is moving toward this side that they both move in the opposite direction. So, co rotating twin screw extruders generate high and low pressure regions for the material near the apex as you can see here that is in this picture that is these are the high pressure zones and these are the low pressure zone. In the co rotating to the material flow results in a high pressure at the nip where material is being forced between the screw and low pressure region of the nip exit. So, this is a quite this becomes quite beneficial as far as the product expansion particularly when we need expanded products this co rotating twin screw extruders is beneficial. In the extruder there are a different processing zone they are called feeding zones, kneading zones and cooking zones. The feeding zones is the area where preconditioned low density particles of the raw material are introduced into the barrel. We have seen in the earlier picture we will show you it again in the next slides that is the picture the things will be more clear that is the in the feeding zone basically it is the area from where the material uh, is our raw material is fed to the extruder. The density is normally low in this feeding zone because it the material contains lot of entrapped air and also in from this feeding zone the material is conveyed and compressed slightly. As far as the kneading zone is concerned here in this zone the compression of the material occurs the flow channels of the extruder are keep high degree of uh, fill as their volume and screw pitches decreases. Mechanism of shear begins to play predominant role 
in the kneading zone because of the barrel fill conditions and also it increases in temperature, pressure and extruded density that is in this zone increase in the temperature, pressure and extruded density can be observed. The cooking zone is the area where MR phasizing or texturizing that is the there is a change in the material nature that is the may be crystalline materials convert into uh, amorphous form or general proteins etcetera they get texturized. So, the change in the material uh, material characteristics texture etcetera takes place in this zone. Also the temperature and pressure increases are very rapid shear rate is higher all right and this is mainly due to the screw configuration. So, different uh, that is the pressure and different shear rates etcetera can be obtained as a result of different uh, screw assemblies. Okay. The next important thing is that in order to get the desired characteristic product that is to understand the mechanism of this extrusion process it is uh, essential that we understand what are the different components in the extruder particularly that is that is the different uh, that is screw and how these uh, they are and how their characteristics of the com components or elements of the extruder extruder barrel or screw they influence the processing characteristics as well as product composition. So, in this in the first thing is that the flight. So, flight of extruder is known as the space enclosed by the thread and the surface of the root in one complete turn of the screw. The flight depth is the perpendicular distance from the top of the screw to the root surface. You can see here in this figure the flight, flight depth that is the flight width is shown here, flight width is shown here, flight land is shown here. Okay. The pitch, pitch is the horizontal distance of the corresponding points of the two successive lands. You can see two successive lands, these are the lands. So, between two successive lands, what is the horizontal distance that is called or known as pitch. A screw root is the continuous shaft which is of usually conical shape that is the screw root. The helix angle is the angle between the screw thread and the traverse plane of the screw. Land is the surface at the radical extremity of the screw thread constituting the periphery or outside diameter of the screw. Lead is the horizontal distance travelled by the material in one complete revolution of the screw assuming that 100 percent efficiency is there. So, in fact, the lead is equal to the pitch multiplied by the number of starts and the number of starts are the number of separate threads traced along the length of the screw. It may be uh, double flighted screw or single flighted screw. So, what is the number of thread in that? That is called number of starts. So, these parameters that is screw configuration etcetera that is screw design by varying this configuration and design we can get different uh, that is the we can system parameters accordingly that is the this system parameter process parameter they influence the product characteristics. For example, that is the L by D ratio is L by D ratio is actually the ratio of the flighted length of the screw in its outside diameter and change changing L by D ratio in the extruder that is the engineering parameter of the extruder 
screw design. So, if we have a larger L by D ratio, it will generate more shear, all right, and this also that is the shear heat, in fact, more uniformly that is the uniformly generated shear heat can we get. There might be a greater opportunity for homogeneous mixing as well as greater residence time. So, this we can get by maintaining a comparatively higher L by D ratio. The other term is the compression ratio. The compression ratio is the ratio of channel volume in the feeding zone to the channel volume in metering zone and higher compression ratio means greater shear heat imparted to the material, uniform heat distribution, potential cre of creating stress in the material, helix angle, it is the angle of the screw flight related to the plane perpendicular to the x screw axis and a change to a smaller helix angle may result more flight turns per diameter and this reduces the axial melting length, conveys stiffer material with greater ease, even more hard material if this helix angle by changing the helix angle that is the movement or flow of the even stiff material or harder material can be made easy and it reduces the rate at which the material is conveyed. And in this figure basically there is various configurations, different configurations of a screw and the barrel are shown which are commercially are present in the commercial extruders and accordingly there is these both the configuration of the screw as well as configuration of the barrel. This gives the desired compression. So, for example, in this case the there is a constant pitch increasing root diameter that is the root diameter is increasing from this side to this side, but the pitch is okay. So, means that is here root diameter is increased. So, a space in between the barrel and the screw that is the less. So, obviously, there will be more pressure and there will be more compression. Similarly, there is in this case the constant pitch, constant root diameter, decreasing diameter or there may be variable pitch, constant depth, increasing root diameter etcetera. There are constant pitch, constant root diameter in this case, constant pitch, constant root diameter with breaker bolt are provided okay, are decreasing pitch and constant root. So, these changes in the pitch, changes in the uh, root diameter, all the things changes in the barrel screw design, we can get desired compression and further desired processing of the product. Okay. Another very, very important component of the extruder machine is the extruder die. Okay. Different types of extruder die that is by using appropriate types or different types of you can give or you can one can manufacture products of different si size, shapes, etcetera, variety of okay. Okay. and you can see that is this some useful functions that die serves are that it shapes the melt pumped from the extruder in two provide the desired cross sectional dimensions at a specific throughput rate. Also, the die contributes to the physical properties by controlling molecular orientation in the product. Also, it controls the product surface aesthetics that is the characteristic surface is smooth, shiny etcetera all the voltage by having a proper die design we can get okay. and die swell actually is the material swelling as it exits the die, die head. 
you can see that the extruder it is coming from dry land is there and then dry soil is provided. So, that and run now the material when it exists the dry it swells because you have the pressure gradient, temperature gradients and so on. These are the different types of dyes taken from the literature which are available in the commercial extruder designs and accordingly you can see fish shape and other animal shape and all these things boy shape different shapes of dye and different shapes of products can be manufactured using this dye. So, actually by adjusting the dye opening, the pressure and the retention time, the dimension and shape of the final products can be controlled. So, after having this because these screw configuration, die configuration and all those things they influence the material flow. So, material flow in the barrel as well as material flow in the die it again it becomes. So, these many a times it need to be controlled properly all right in order to get the desired whether you want that is more in the end product you want the expansion in the in the product you want to compaction in the end product etcetera that can be obtained by having these different types of that is a flow and other characteristics ok. So, the when die is fitted at the end of the barrel pressure develops at end of the screw and before the die at that causes a reverse flow of the material and this reverse flow of the material is basically through the screw channel from the die to feed end and the clearance the flow is also in the clearance between the screw flight and inner surface of the barrel. So, there are as a result of this different types of flows takes place like drag flow, pressure flow and leakage flow. Drag flow is basically the flow of the material inside the barrel due to the action of dragging. The pressure flow is the reverse flow of the material in the screw channel whereas, the reverse flow of the material through the clearance is known as leakage flow ok. And in this figure you can see that is screw channel then how the drag flow and pressure flow both are flowing and the screw output direction. So, this is the same these different types of flow are shown schematically in these figures. The other is that is the net flow, there is net flow through the extruder barrel and this is equal to drag flow minus pressure flow minus leakage flow. You can see here there is Q net this is the drag flow is equal to Q D minus Q P minus Q L. These are basically uh, drag flow D for drag, P for uh, pressure and L for leakage flow. So, drag flow, pressure flow and leakage flow they can all be calculated there are equations provided like the drag flow through the screw channel can be calculated Q D is equal to 0 0.5 pi d n cos phi w h 1 f d. Pressure flow can be calculated using this equation q p is equal to 2 w sin phi h 2 minus h 1 delta p divided by 12 l 1 by h 1 square minus h 2 square mu s multiplied by f p, where there is the w is width, p is pitch, h 1 and h 2 are the depth at the metering and feeding zones. D is the barrel inner diameter, phi is the helix angle, n is the screw rotation, mu is the viscosity of the material and F d and F p are drag and pressure flow correction factors. So, you can measure if you have these characteristics etcetera, you measure this a system parameter process parameters, you can calculate Q d, you can calculate Q p and also you can calculate that is leakage flow, leakage flow that is by the using the equation Q l is equal to pi d uh, 3 to the power 3 
okay and uh, uh, del p divided by 12 l by rho e by cos phi mu s where del is the clearance between the screw flight and the inner surface of the barrel delta p is the pressure drop p is the pitch of the screw and mu s is the viscosity of the material flowing through the channel so with this leakage flow drag flow and uh, sir flow one can find out the total net flow through the extruder and finally the energy consumption that is a specific energy consumption e in a joule per kg by the extruder during the operation can be calculated and it will be governed by this equation e is equal to 2 pi n tm by qm pm where n is the screw speed tm is the torque required to rotate the screw qm is the flow rate of the material and rho m in the density of the extrudate so finally we have seen the flow through the barrel let us see flow through the die the extruder flow is also equal to the flow rate through the die assuming that the flow through the die is laminar the value of q can be obtained by using hagen poiseuille equation like q is equal to k delta p by mu d where delta p is pressure drop k is the geometric constant depending upon the type of the die opening and mu d is the viscosity of the material flowing through die this value of k that is a constant geometric constant for different cross sections of the die like for a circular die can be obtained using this formula for a slit uh, cross section you can be obtained using this formula and for a analysis cross section you can so there are different uh, for the different slits uh, cross section of the die this k can be calculated and accordingly the flow because the extruder flow is generally equal to the flow rate through the die opening so you can calculate so this screw configuration and pressure profile that is the very very important thing I already see that earlier also that is the once the material is in the screw channel it is compacted and transported down the channel the compacting and moving can only be accomplished by the friction at the screw surface the frictional forces result in a pressure rise in the feed section and this pressure causes the compression the pressure compresses the solid bed you can see here in these pictures okay so the rise in the pressure is observed with the decreasing channel depth if the channel depth is decreases as i told you earlier also we saw the when the screw and barrel configuration that is if the channel depth is decreased the, there will be more because the clearance between the barrel and screw etc will be more there will be more compaction and more compression more pressure will be developed and the low channel depth in the metering zone results in the higher pressure and which is sufficient to pump the material through the die and some extruders even may have venting zone and these venting zones are provided to remove the volatile materials etc from the extruder therefore the melt pressure is reduced to atmospheric pressure in the decompression zone then die and screw characteristics particularly that is how the dry and screw characteristics influence the pressure thoroughfoot curve the output of the deep channel screw at equal n and d that is the screw speed and diameter of the screw is substantially larger than the output of the shallow channel screw because the drag flow is proportional to the depth of the channel the deep channel screw output is however highly dependent upon the pressure flow such that the output decreases rapidly as back pressure increases the shallow channel screw is relatively unaffected by the back pressure 
and its output is nearly constant with increasing back pressure. The intersection of the curve here in this case indicates that the operating points that is you can see here is the deep channel screw and shallow channel screw and the intersection of this gives you the operating point. Then die and screw characteristics again of the fluence the pressure thoroughput curve and the particularly the size of the die in case in this figure you can see there are four dies die 1, 2, 3 and 4. The die 1 is the largest size and die 4 is the smallest size. So, obviously since the die size is more more opening. So, it represents a low resistance whereas, when the die size is small it represents a more resistance or it is a restrictive die. So, the pressure drop increases as the die size decreases and the thoroughput increases. The maximum thoroughput and no pressure build up is called the point of open discharge and this occurs in fact, when there is a no die means that is the material can go out easily. The point of maximum pressure built up and no thoroughput is called point of closed discharge that is this occurs when the extruder is actually plugged in. So, the feasibility line m minimum m is our minimum represents the thoroughput required to have an economically feasible system you can see in this figure. Okay. So, friends to summarize let us say to the, in the end there is some useful points which one should consider in daily operation of the extruder there is the homogeneous moisture content and particle size distribution is required in the material and it prevents irregular work of the extruder ensures desired quality of the product. Reduced moisture content influences the extruder pressure as well as increases the viscosity of the material. Intensive cooling of the barrel helps to a or contributes to a lower temperature and increases the friction inside the material. The temperature drop in the material rises the viscosity. Blocking of a few die holes, there is a sudden increase in the pressure and it leads to a powerful backflow or even lockout of the material. A smallest hole in the die they cause a higher resistance during the extrusion and increase pressure and reduce the extruder's output as the backflow is higher. So, these are the some of the points which one if one take care of all these things the extrusion process becomes a very very versatile and very very easy to operate materials and one can use this process and other parameters appropriately one can have a uh, optimum screw configurations and optimum barrel design etcetera proper machine parameters and by controlling this one can get the product of desired characteristics and there is a. So, with this I thank you all for your kind attention. Thank you.